conventional air guns, it's not much better than an HW77. It's a carbine, comes with a lovely laminated stock, fitted with a scope to match the combo. It just can't be beaten for the price. Fit to this rifle is a Nikko still in Laser King, 3 to 9 by 42 and uh, a spectacular rifle. This happens to be the 2 2 version. the review. So uh, let's get to it. This rifle is even great for high shooting as it breaks into the camouflage of the surroundings and what I'm wearing. Super smooth to cock. I grab a pellet, put that into the breech, direct the breech feed, close the lever, ready to fire. Cocking this rifle is simplicity in itself. All it takes is a push of a button release up the top there and a pull of the lever and it will drop down. Just grab the, uh, the uh, cocking lever firmly to the hand. Don't do it like that because it will slip. So what you want to do, you want to grab a nice firm grab and then a nice gentle stroke downwards and there's no effort required at all. That then, dis that then engages to uh, the safety with the two-stage record unit. So the seals are connected with the piston, which means it's ready to fire as soon as it's loaded and taken off safe. So if I just show you the direct the breech feed on this rifle. If I put a pellet, a 2-2 superfield, straight into the barrel, thumb it in, when you put a pellet in, you want to have a, thing, a mark on your finger like that to show it's all the way in for a consistent shot. And then it's as simple as closing the lever and then disengaging the safety and then it's ready to fire. Now we're going to go on to accuracy. I'm going to start shooting a paper tar. Right then guys, what we're, what we're doing here is a five shot group at 20 yards or so. Uh, there's already one shot in the, the paper target there from where the camera didn't record, so we've had to re-record it, so apologies for if you wanted to see the first shot, alright? Okay guys, so there you go, there's a five shot group, just a quick one, not trying to do anything major. In a wind with a 2.2 HW77 at 20 yards sitting. Um, it's not the best you can do with it, and I can assure you it can do a hell of a lot better. Um, 
just happens to be that we haven't got a proper target stand today and it's been resting in a tree and wobbling so the point of impact might have changed a little bit and as you can see most of them shots went in pretty much the same hole and one just dropped just below on the very last shot I'm pretty pleased with them results that's a spring rifle a sub 12 foot pound spring rifle and if you're saying you can't get accuracy with them now you know you're talking rubbish because I just did it there and I've got a witness so uh, yeah that's the HW77 carbine green laminate in .22 caliber it's excellent for hunting excellent for target go and get one with the 2.2 version with the green laminate stock you'll notice quite a few differences the gun in length and weight is exactly the same by the stock the stock doesn't have four end checkering and it's got a tapered end right there and it's a little thinner as well if you notice and the most obvious thing is a different color it's red brown and gray laminate with a bit of black in it and a bit of brown and it's one of the nicest stocks on the market for the HW range if I get a bit closer, I'll give a better look of it. This is David's field target gun, which is tuned. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> this is tuned by myself, actually. So I did this for David as a favor, as he's done a really good thing for me. And uh, let's see how he shoots at that target. It's gonna be a five shot group, a 20 yard sitting. Yeah, okay. guys, I'm just giving you the heads up. I would have been shooting it, but I'm not having a good shooting day today. Not my day. It's all right, we all have that. Right guys, Curtis managed to get a nice group out of the gun uh, because I haven't been having a good shooting day. I haven't got anything to give a size reference but we got five shots in these and one flyer and it's not uh, not exactly a, the most calm day going. No, we've got a little bit of a, a, little bit of side a vicious wind, breeze it? from left to right Yeah. and that's uh, five shots there. Three in the widest hole and the other two in the left. That one there was a flyer and that's a 177 calibre HW77. Yep, and that's fantastic. 
yeah. considering it wasn't sighted in for my eye, that's a pretty damn good move. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, at this part of the film, I'd like to give a special shout out to. Um, there's another YouTube channel on there, and he's done the same thing for me. So, I thought it'd only be fair. So, uh, if, if you want to check out Bumblefoot Films and Bumblefoot Films Elite, he'll show you CZs, uh, Rimfires, um, 223s, he's even got air guns on there. And he's a really good guy, really great channel. I can't praise the guy enough. He, some of his videos are hilarious. His name's Richard Bradshaw, and uh, go check him out, guys. There'll yeah. be a video link in the description. Subscribe and comment to his videos and like them, and do the same for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.